Hi guys, it's me Morgan. I'm here with another Dollar Tree haul for you. Um, this one's a pretty decent size haul for real. Um, I went to four different stores, um, found some really good things and some things I haven't really seen before at my local store. Um, before we jump into this, I would just like to say, um, if you don't already subscribe to me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, I'm currently doing Dollar Tree hauls. That's it at the moment. I'm looking to expand some, but I'm working on that. Um, it's still in the works. And if you like these kind of videos, go follow me on Instagram at Cozy with Morgan. And then the number two, um, I post usually daily different things I find at Dollar Tree or different crafts and DIYs I do with stuff that I find at Dollar Tree. Um, so you can always go follow me there. And then if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I appreciate the love and support and let's get into this. We're going to start with Easter because it's what's right next to me. Um, plus it's right around the corner. So first I bought this adorable cheeky bucket. Look at it. Look at that cute little cheeky with his little beak. So cute. The handle got kind of messed up in the car, but I'm working on fixing it. And the handle has just little, you know, little circles on them. But I just thought this was darling. I'm going to use this for my nephew's Easter basket. So I just think it's cute. And they had other ones, of course, but I have a soft spot for chickies. Alright, next. I picked up two of these Peeps bath bombs, but they are different because this one has the chicks and it says chicks roll. And it is marshmallow scented. And it says there is a hidden color inside. So it says tint your bath water bright colors. Um, I just thought that would be cute to put in. Adding in these Easter baskets. And then this one has the bunnies on it. It says bunnies rule. So I just thought that was super cute. And a little add in. And this one, by the way, is marshmallow scented as well. I can't really smell anything. There's a little hole in the bottom, but I can't smell anything out of it. Next, I picked up some Palmer caramel eggs. Soft, creamy caramel in a rich chocolatey shell. This is a 4.5 ounce bag. And they just have these different color polka dot foils around them. Best Buy 10 of 2022. So, I thought this would be a nice little filler for a gift basket. I picked up this Lifesavers Hard Candy Spring Mix. Y'all, this is my favorite Lifesaver mix. Because the raspberry, pineapple, and watermelon are my favorite Lifesavers. So... This one's always on my must-have list. This is a 3.2 ounce bag. And it expires May 2022. Next up, I picked up a four-pack of these um, Smarties Easter candies. Here we go. It's just little box candies. Um, I was, they're fat free, gluten free, peanut free. But I just thought this would be cute to put in um, the kids' Easter gift baskets I'm making for some of my friends' kids. Plus, four for a dollar. That's a quarter a piece. That's a great deal. 
<clears throat> Next, I picked up this Charms Mini Pops Tropical Mix. And this has 35 pops. That's a decent size. 6.3 ounces. And there's, let's see, we got Kiwi Cooler, Pineapple Coconut, Mango Madness, Strawberry Starfruit, Citrus Splash, and Paradise Punch. Those sound great. They expired 10 of 2022. That's a good size bag, like I said. And I was trying to see me some product of Covington, Tennessee. So, charms. Next, I picked up two of these Kool Aid cotton candy that is Tropical Punch. It is a 1.5 ounce. Oops, I'm covering up my fingers. 1.5 ounce bag. It is good by February 2023. Um, so look how cute this bag is, though. And there was some Kool-Aid cotton candy. And my kids love cotton candy. So I thought this would be cute to put in their Easter basket. Next, I picked up some gummy bunnies. Uh, this is an 18-piece. And they're just little gummy bunnies. Pretty much exactly what it says. Um, mm -hmm. I don't see an expiration date. I'm sure it's on here. I'm just overlooking it. But anyway, I just thought they were cute. Add little pops of color to um, treat bags that I made. I picked up two of these Charms Blow Pop Minis. I gotta pick up this one because it's very Eastery, and then this one because it's Eastery. Um, and my daughter's favorite color is purple. Um, these are in resealable pouches, and you get watermelon, blue raspberry, cherry, and sour apple. It says there is 41 right there. 41 pieces. So, that is a great buy. Plus, my kids love blow, blow pops anyway. And, then I picked up two of these four packs of these mini milk chocolate bars. Look how precious these are. Like, look at the detail of these little chips. That's my favorite. I just think these are really cute. And these are just like the ones they brought out during Christmas that are made in Germany. Y'all, I bought my kids some in Christmas and they were delicious. It was great chocolate. It was so rich and creamy. Oh man, so good. These, I highly recommend picking these up. I really do. Um, this expires 10 of 2021. So, I just picked up two. One for my kids and one for friends. I picked up two of these pop-ups lollipops. This one in a flamingo. There you go. I'll just hit this little button and bring it up. And then this one in this sloth. Look how cute this little sloth is. They have the same lollipop in them. I thought they'd be cute. My daughter loves flamingos. So. And then last in Easter, I picked up this eight-piece stamp collection. Not really a collection, but you know what I mean. Set. Um, to put in the gift baskets I'm making for my kids' friends. Let me see if I can get a close-up. There we go. You got a carrot, a bunny head, and then a bunny with holding a carrot. And then there's one that says Happy Easter down here. An Easter egg, a chick, some bunny feet, and another Easter egg. 
So I thought it'd just be cute to put in their little treat bags for Easter. And next we will move on to <clears throat> fun section because it's what's next. And I don't know if this is really what this section is called, but this is what I call it. So let me gather all this stuff up real quick so it doesn't fall down in this bag. But this is new items. I have not seen these items before. And this is how quick this happened. I went to my local Dollar Tree Sunday after I went to everyone else. And they didn't have these items. I went back Monday after work to take my mother-in-law to buy some dishes because they finally got a place to live. So congratulations to them. They will officially be Kentucky residents again, but anyway, went back Monday and they had a whole end cap full of this kind of stuff. So just goes to show you, you got to watch Dollar Tree is a sneaky, 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 but this is a two pack of scrunchies, but look at these tie dye scrunchies. Look at these. They had a couple different variations, but I just picked this one. It was the first one on the hook, and my daughter doesn't care. She just loves scrunchies and tie-dye. Perfect. But look, like I said, it is from that fun section. So, and they are soft. They are really soft. Mm. Next, I picked up this BFF set of bracelets. You get a pink and a purple. And they had different variations of this one too. But this is the one my daughter chose. For her and her friend, believe it or not. She is 14 years old and wanted to get one for her friend. I'm not going to turn her childhood down. Stay a kid, honey. Stay a kid. Stay a kid. <laughs> but they have little sparkles in there. And the colors on the back are gorgeous. They're very vibrant. They give me an 80s vibe, actually. Don't know why. And then I picked up two of these. And they are these little, uh oh. Hmm. I knocked one off. There we go. All fixed. They're these little shelled bracelets. Come on, focus. There we go. And they have different color, like yellow, pinks, and purples. And the straps are different. Well, maybe. There we go. So, I picked these up for Abby and Kennedy's, um, probably birthday bags. Because their Easter baskets are full. So, give that to them. Y'all. Dollar Tree done brought out some new string lights in the fun section. I picked up two of these. They are pineapples, guys. You get 3.6 um, feet. It's for indoor use only. It requires two AA batteries not included. But look how cute these pineapples are. I thought this would be perfect um, to put in one of the levels... One of the tiers of my tear tray for summer. Pineapples. I mean, just a little something extra. I love putting lights down in there. My Easter one right now doesn't have any lights because I couldn't find any lights that I really liked for Easter. But my spring one, oh my gosh, I found the cutest lights at Dollar Tree General, guys. They are string lights. They were $5 a set. So I only bought two because that's a little pricey because it usually takes a lot to do the whole tier or the whole tray. But they are like white roses and then pink roses gorgeous but anyway so these and then they had and they don't fell down but these can you see what those are flamingos look how cute i bought these for my daughter of course you get 3.6 feet of these two and i had one more but i don't remember what it was but i just picked up this one for my daughter to lay around something in her room because let me know she loves them and it was so funny because we were walking down the aisle and her ex-boyfriend who is now her friend anyway went with us and she said hey do you know my favorite animals and without even hesitating he says elephants and flamingos 
I was like, I thought that was going to be a lot more fun than that because I was going to tease you about it. But he knew like that. So funny. Friend my butt. But anyway. Moving on. We have food. Um, I picked up these Russell Stover's Lemon Puckers. It is lemon candy with a sour kick. This is a 2.95 ounce bag. And they expire November 1st of 2021. Russell Stover's is one of my favorite chocolate companies. We love them. And guys, these lemon puckers, I bought a couple of these packs. I actually have a pack in my, that white dish right there. Um, it has snacks in it. But anyway, these are phenomenal. Like, it's like white chocolate with a lemon flavor but it's just a hint it's just enough to be lemon it's not overbearing it's not overpowering it is delicious i highly recommend this and this is a good size bag like you get at least 10 pieces so 10 for a dollar that's not bad all right next i picked up these trolley trolley I never know how to say that. But they are sour, sour gummy creations. And it says new. It is a three point out bag. But it's like. Essentially I'm going to let my son play with his food. <laughs> you create little things with them. It's almost like a Lego thing. You see. You got different heads and bodies. And how cool is that. And these expire 6 24 of 2021. And they are made in Chicago, Illinois. But you get strawberry, pineapple, 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 lemonade, watermelon, mango, and blue raspberry in here. A dollar. He'll be so excited. I haven't even told him about this yet. Next, I picked this up for me. Laffy Taffy Gone Bananas Laffy Bites. This is a 4.2 ounce bag. It is poppable with an extra drop of flavor. I love banana Laffy Taffy. It is my favorite. And everyone else hates it in my house. It works out perfectly. They can have the other ones. Just give me the banana, right? So, I was super excited about this. Plus, I've never had the hard ones. Guys, I'm going to break my rule. I'm going to eat on camera. I'm going to try it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Y'all, that's good. Mm-hmm. Doesn't taste exactly like the Laffy Taffy itself, but that is good. If you see those, grab them if you like the banana. And that was only for the rest of the Mm-hmm. Yes. Next, I have these trolley, trolleys, whatever, Evil Twins. This is a 4.25 ounce bag. One sour and one sweet. It expires 7 5 2022. And I bought this for my son. So. And last in food is eight pouch of the Crunch on the Go Captain Crunch snack pouches. This is point seven seven ounce bags. You get eight of them. And I went to a couple of stores and I seen the bags opened and put up individually. So I don't know why, but it's clearly supposed to be sold this way. But for a dollar, yes, please. Be a good little snack, grab and go. All right. Next, we'll do toys. I picked up this 33. 
piece set of plain money. It's a cash drawer. You get coins and currency. Um, ages four and up. So you get your cash, you get your coins. Um, I bought this for Kenzie to play. I don't know if I'm going to give it to her for her house or my house. I haven't decided yet. Probably my house so her mom doesn't stress out about the money going everywhere. But anyway. So, picked up this for Kenzie. And then I picked up... Oops, four of these... Kitchen Cuisine Sets. They're different ones. I'll show you here in a minute. But I bought these because I thought it'd be cute for kids to play with the money. To play like grocery store. You have this one which is like vegetables. It's got corn, carrots, peppers, lettuce, hot pepper. Next we have fruits. You have an orange, banana, a lemon, a grape, a strawberry, and an apple. Next, we have like kind of like a grilling fast food type thing, I guess, because you have a cola, some chicken legs, fries with a cute little cardboard container, and some hot dogs. And then we have like a dairy sweets one. You have a carton of milk, ice cream cone, bar of chocolate, donut, different kind of ice cream. So I thought she'd enjoy playing with that. Next, I picked up this Sticky Catch set, ages four and up. They had it in different colors. I went with the purple camel look, but you get two of these little mitten things and you throw the ball, the sticky ball, back and forth. See, it has a suction cup. So, I thought the kids would like to play with that. Next, I picked up this Mint Green Nickelodeon Slime. I picked it up because I thought it was really pretty and, you know, my daughter loves slime anyway. I picked up a <clears throat> bath time fun toys. You get a three piece of frogs. They have these in different ones. I want to say ducks and like sea creatures, but it's for ages six months and up. I bought it for my nephew's Easter basket. This is also for his Easter basket. It is a bath time bubble book. It is Sesame Street. It is make some noise. It's just a soft squishy book. I hauled one not long ago for candy. And then I thought, Emmett would love this in a couple months. So. And then last but not least, I picked this up for my daughter. She wanted it for her basket. Yes, she knows some of the things she's getting. She's 14 years old. Just a caution, there's going to be flashing lights. Because watch. How pretty is that? So, I just picked it up for her. Alright. Next, we're going to go into household and apparel. Because I only have one apparel. So, I just threw it in here. Dollar Tree is bringing out new hats. This is the, by their Juncture line. This is an all black cap and I love it. It's got the mesh. I mean, I love it. I love a good, a good solid hat. But anyway, they had this one and a couple different like tri-colors, but I just wanted a good black one. And Junction is a Greenbrier product, so we will be seeing more of this type of stuff from them, hopefully, fingers crossed. Next, I picked up three of these dusters. You get two dusters and one handle. Um, I didn't actually buy these for dusting. <laughs> I bought these because we're doing a, like I said, we do ladies craft night. Our next one is gnomes and we're going to use these for the beards. <laughs> so that's what I use it for. And if I have any left over, I will use it for a duster because these are great dusters, by the way, guys. Just FYI. Name brand. I picked up this Brillo Basic Spray Starch. It is a 12 ounce, 12 ounce can. I picked this up um, 
because my son and my husband's collars for church sometimes get really wrinkly. So I'm going to try my best to actually take precautionary measures for that. Whether or not I do it, I don't know. But it's here and this is name brand. So, and it is made in Turkey. Last in household is this Glade Solid Air Freshener, but it is lemon scent. Like, what? I love anything lemon scent. So, oh, I can already smell it. Oh, oh. y'all, that smells so good. Yes, that smells so good. Okay. Next is Tool Bench. And these were both wish list items, which is so lame, I know. But I'm weird. So, it is this six piece precision screwdriver set to go on my toolbox. It's just teeny tiny little screwdrivers because you never know when you're going to need them. So, I picked it up. And they are magnetic. I just seen that. That's even better. Focus. There we go. And then I picked up two of these great organizing cases. Um, these are great for obviously nails and bolts and screws and stuff like that. Um, but I was thinking AAA and AA batteries and craft stuff. That's where my mind went. So I picked up two and I have been looking for these for so long. And they have these great grippers on them. You see it? So great. And for a dollar. Walmart carries one. It's a little bit bigger than this, but it's like $3. And it's the cheapest one I found. So I was super pumped about this. Next is stationery. I found this pineapple pen. It's just a squishy pineapple by Jot. I picked this up for a friend. You know who you are. Okay. And they had a couple different ones, but this particular person really likes pineapples. I picked this up for me, for nostalgia reasons. It is a 600 Lisa Frank stickers. This takes me back. I love Lisa Frank. I had to have everything Lisa Frank grown up. Like, just look. Look this look at the frogs. I love Lisa Frank. Everything Lisa Frank. Well, those lips are pretty. Look at this epic penguin here. Look, penguin. Penguin. You got a penguin family over here. Yes. Okay. And you have bigger stickers in the back. Okay. So, 600 stickers for a dollar, and it is Lisa Frank. Yes, I will buy this all day long. I've been looking for these. These were wish list items. They are Jot, and they are glitter papers. They are a three-pack. I bought every color I could find. I got this really pretty, like a, almost like a rose gold. This light blue. This lavender. This awesome green. And then this blue. And I bought this for crafting stuff, obviously. But I wanted to open it. If it doesn't take too long, because I'm running out of time here. It's getting to be a long video. To fill it. Because I'm pretty sure this is like a vinyl. I think it is, but I can't tell. So if you know, give me a comment down below. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to do with it yet, but I'm going to do something with it because it's cool. Yeah, it's a sticky vinyl. So that's neat. So three for a dollar. I can do so many crafts with this, especially with my Cricut. Yes, man. I have 
Health and Beauty. I picked up one of the Spa April Bath and Shower Charcoal Infused Sponge. It's half green and half gray. I picked it up for my son. Thought he might like it. I picked this up. It is from April Bath and Shower Kids. It is an animal sponge bath and it is a frog. Picked it up for my nephew for his Easter basket because it's cute. I picked up this mint loofah on this really nice wooden stick. It's good quality. Like, I couldn't believe this was a dollar. Um, it is from April Bath and Showers as well. So, and they had several colors, but I bought this for me. I picked up one. What is that? Okay. Uh, Jungle Berry Scented Bath Bomb. Hidden color inside. It's got a dinosaur on it. I thought that would be cool. Um, I don't know if I'll give it to my son or not, but I thought it'd be cool. He probably will think it's lame, but... I picked up two of LA Colors new nude scents. This one is Spirit. It is a really pretty purpley color. And this one is Prosperous. And it is also, it's like a mauve color. I thought they were really pretty. I picked up an eight count of water tablets. You get red, blue, and yellow, but this was Peppa Pig. I bought this for Miss Kenzie. She loves Peppa Pig and she loves her color tablets. So, great little add-on for her Easter basket. And they came in different ones. But Peppa Pig was the one I wanted. And then I found this. It is a travel kit. It is tweezers and nail, clipper, nail clippers and a premium storage case. And these are not made by Green Briar. But they are... I cannot describe how heavy do these feel, guys. Like, they feel heavy. So, I grab these. You can never have too many. I don't even know Howls of Steel. Halls of Steel. I don't know. But. Manufactured in California. Made in China. So, there's that. Alright, lastly, I have Pets. And all this stuff is stuff I'm donating to my local um, no-kill shelter. That is a non-profit organization. I've told you this before. I picked up one more of these small, medium pet bandanas. I just wanted to add one more to the collection because I had one more large than I did this size. So I just wanted to pick up one more. And then I finally found the squirrel stuffed animals. How cute. So I just picked up one. It's just soft and oop. don't want to do that. They're sleepy. It's squeaky. And then I picked up two of these gorgeous buffalo plaid bowls. They're just plastic bowls, but you know, to a dog that doesn't have anything, it'll be the greatest thing ever. And I honestly kind of like them for my dogs, but my dogs use different kind of bowls. So, guys, with that being said, that is it for this Dollar Tree haul. We have made it. So, I hope you enjoyed my video. Like I said, if you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed to my page, um, or my channel, I'd really appreciate it. Um, and I will see you all next haul. Bye!